Hi. Good morning. How is everybody? Uh, we are going to a family thing today, so I'm making some banana split dessert to take. And I start with graham crackers and I get to crunch them all up. Leaves and all, right? Uh, uh. Oh, it's going to pop open. I bet I'm going to make a mess out of this. Oh, it won't be the first time. <laughs> but, you know what? If it don't break up in here, look at here, you can take a um, rolling pin. Well, it didn't work very good for the graham crackers, so I switched to the food processor, and it's just a small one, so I have to use a little bit at a time. But anyway, I got them all crunched up, so this is, this is the whole box of um, graham crackers, three sleeves of graham crackers. One of the box of that. that was a 15 ounce box of graham crackers. Don't throw it away. It's got recipes on the bottom. Okay. Of it. <laughs> and one stick of melted butter. So you just pour the melted butter in there and we're just going to stir it all up. Yum. So you're just going to, you're just trying to get all the graham crackers wet with the butter. So mix it all up. Nothing better than real fresh butter. I use real butter on everything. And then we're going to mush it out in the pan. I could use the mixer, but it'd go all over the place if I did. And there might be some little bit bigger pieces in there, but that's okay. It's graham crackers. Oops, I'm kind of messy in the kitchen. Everything always goes on the table or on the counter. <laughs> but that just shows I'm real, huh? Okay, I think we're ready. What do you think? Uh, you're the cook. I'm the eater. <laughs> I'm the cooker. You're the, the eater. I am too in this case because this is going to be good. Good stuff. Okie dokie. Now we got a 9 by 13. 9 by 13? I think it's 9 by 13. And we just put it all out in there and mush it all out, spread it all out. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it get chilled. Just a few minutes while, just a few while minutes she's putting together the other while I'm putting toppings together and the so other. forth. Sure. Filling. There we go. Now, spread it out and make sure it's even. And then just press it down. Yum, it smells so good. Graham crackers and butter. And Miley won't take your hands and press it down. And again, making sure, as we always do, the last thing we do before the you see the video come on is wash our hands. Wash our hands. And then get something on them and then wash them again. Yeah. And then get something on them and wash them again. Speaking of washing <laughs> something again, <laughs> I got me a new shirt yesterday and I was really excited about wearing it to uh, our little get together today in Sykeston. He said, "I will be sure to iron this, make it <laughs> She look really ironed nice. it all up. Oh, it was so pretty." So this morning I was helping her get some things ready. The cherries, the bananas. <laughs> the cherries. But anyway, uh, the, the cher jar of cherries was really stubborn. I kept twisting <laughs> and twisting. Finally it popped off and it went all down the front of my brand new shirt. <laughs> all over the left sleeve. And so, all over the floor. And all, and all over the floor. Counter. <laughs> so while I would clean the floor up. 
I took my brand new shirt and put it in the laundry that was already going downstairs and started all over. So I'm hoping all that cherry juice washes out of it. Yeah. On okay. the plus side, it was a dark red shirt. So. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see the cherry juice. If it doesn't all come out, I'll just say it's a design. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I think we're ready to put this in the refrigerator and start on the rest of it. What do you think? Whatever you want to do, okay, my okay. dear. We'll be well, that's going to go in the fridge. I'm, I'm not going to walk oh, around there. Gonna... I've got to kind of watch this. we got a big light yeah. over the table. If I try moving around too much, I'll uh, knock that light over. Let's see. What? Okay. I'm trying to figure out what she needs next there. It's not the cherries. I'll push them over here. Maybe uh, she's got some jello. Vanilla instant pudding, not the kind you cook, but the instant. <clears throat> we have some uh, vanilla, and we have some cream cheese. Eight Sorry. ounces of cream cream, cream cheese. cheese we have drained crushed pineapple, and it's important. We drained that for like ten minutes and pushed on it and. Hopefully got it all out. Because the last thing you want in this, and you'll see why when uh, she starts putting it together, the last thing you want is, uh, you know, your juice running down inside of it because it's not going to do it. And this is three oh, cups sugar. of powdered sugar. So okay, anyway, okay. she's going to put all that together. Okay, okay. So we put in cream cheese. Two open. Read Would you like a pair of scissors? No. No, it opens real good. You just take the corner and pull them up. And that should be room temperature, guys. I set it out this morning about 5. Yeah, about 5 o'clock. 5, 5, 30, something like that. We may go to bed at 9 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock, <laughs> but we're up every morning about 5, 6 o'clock, so. Talk about the old people going to bed, but they don't talk about how early they get up. Yeah. Again and again. The early bird gets the bacon and eggs. <laughs> I don't particularly care for worms. Okay. Now, I do the... Okay. Two capsules of vanilla. And he bought the real vanilla. Pure vanilla. Two capsules. <gasps> Okay. Yeah, the vanilla is really good. Did I mean, you can it? get the the flavoring instead of the real vanilla, but it uh, imitation. Vanilla. And it's a lot cheaper for what okay. we pay for that little bottle there. You can get about a half a gallon of the imitation. Three cups of powdered sugar. So I ought to get this going. <sighs> You know, while she's doing that, I just wanted to say, we went to the funeral yesterday of a uh, uh, really good friend from church. His name was Greg. Probably the nicest person that I have ever met in my whole life. He would do anything at all for you. Always had a smile on his face, no matter what was going on. But uh, the old cancer finally got to him, and... Uh, and took them. And uh, I always thought I wanted to stay away from church funerals because they're so sad and droopy, but uh, all you heard was a little laughter yesterday, and yeah, there were some tears, but you know, there was some laughter, and there was a lot of singing and smiles, and uh, really a great tribute to a guy that wouldn't have been wouldn't want it, everybody sitting around boohooing, but uh, the reason we can smile so much is because we know Greg loved the Lord, and that is uh, a cup of milk. You may have to add a little more than a cup. I forgot to tell you about that right there. All the ingredients will be down the bottom, but 
what a beautiful testimony from his, I believe it was his wife's sister yesterday that was uh, one of them that was telling us a little bit about Greg and uh, she was talking about how she told his wife to go to church one day to kind of get her out of the house so, you know, she'd been, been taking care of Greg so much, an opportunity for her to get out and meet some people and just be out, just be out doing something besides constantly uh, sitting there worrying about Greg. But at any rate, uh, his sister-in-law was uh, sitting beside the, uh, well, she said it was a sofa or bed, but sitting beside Greg while he was sleeping, which he did most of the time for the last couple of weeks, they said. Um, and she's, a, I guess, a nurse, and she knew that Greg was going to go, you know, just very, very soon because of the way he was breathing and kind of a little rattle in the chest. And she was sitting there thinking, you know, this may be his last breath. And Greg springs up, sits straight up, and says, I just saw heaven. And it's the most beautiful thing. And, you know, did you see Grandpa? Did you see... You know, no, I didn't see anyone, but it's a beautiful place. Everything's going to be okay. I know where I'm going, and I can't wait to get there. Um, that was the most beautiful testimony. At this time of the year, we all think so much about, um, you know, you see so many posts on, on Facebook and hear people talking about, you know, how they miss their moms, their dads, their brothers and sisters. And, and I do, too, you know, I, if you read my Facebook, you'll see where I woke up <clears throat> and now I put the pudding in there okay, she put in that pudding I told you that all these ingredients would be in the uh, in, in the description below maybe I'll just turn it off but anyway, I woke up a few nights myself uh, thinking about my little brother Jimmy and uh, and choke it up a little. But you know, just like my brother Jimmy, you know, if your parents were, or, or brother, sister, friend, you know, knew Jesus Christ as, as their Lord and Savior, you know, it's also a happy time, you know? And you say, oh, if I could just bring them back for just a minute. No. If you could see those folks in heaven, there's no way you would want to bring them back. Um, so what you want to do is make sure you know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. And uh, and that's so easy to do, you know. All you have to do is, is from the heart. You know, they say there's only uh, just a few inches from knowing Jesus Christ, who He is, believing in Jesus Christ, and having Him as your, as your personal Savior. And that's the, the few inches from your head to your heart. Once you're in your heart, then you know it's going to heaven. So anyway, back to, and if, if you're not sure about that, call me, text me, you know, whatever it takes, and uh, we'll help you figure that out. All right, so. So I've got the instant thing <coughs> in here, too. Excuse me. This is the cream cheese, powdered sugar, milk, and instant vanilla pudding. And it says mix well, so I didn't want to mix while you were talking. No, that's fine. We want to. I just want to share a little bit about Greg, but we want to also. Yeah. <coughs> I always get a sink full of dishes when I'm cooking. You use this and that. Just that and the other. Just that and the other. I'm just trying to, I'm sorry for all the That's radical okay. camera stuff there. I'm just trying to, uh, okay. trying to get everything cleared off a little bit. So we're about ready to take that graham cracker crust back out of the yeah. is refrigerator. This, now, should we put this in the refrigerator for a second, or should I just No, that's good. All you want is mix. You don't want to beat it to death. Okay. You just want to make sure everything's mixed, and you can take your scraper. And uh, just so everything's incorporated, you're not trying to whip it into anything. 
It's just a filling, and then it's set up after it gets cold. You might get that little spatula over and just run around the bottom, make sure there's no clumps in there. Okay. This one? Okay, don't mad at me. Oh, I think I've got it all. Good. Yeah, you just want to make sure there's no big clumps or anything down there. And again, you know, you probably don't want to uh, oh, this looks so good. whip it quite so much. I'll get it. I got it here. Uh, Be careful. <laughs> Not sure where you're going with that. I'm gonna come up with some light. There we go. There we go. Now I'll just pour it on here. Let's pull that back back on. Oh, okay. Get it some, tends to get between the light. Get and some the, light on this subject. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. No matter where I put this light, she seems to get between it and the and the whatever she's doing. I gotta get all that good filling out of there. Yummy. I say that like I'm the professional filmmaker. <laughs> oh yeah. I tell everybody they watch our oh, channel, yeah. I said, you know, we're you're, you're watching grandpa and grandma trying to figure out YouTube, but hey. <laughs> yeah we had to figure that out. In the out. process, if you put up on with us long enough, you eventually get some really good recipes out of us. So Yeah, I can remember somebody making this when I was a kid, and it is so good. It's probably your sister, Dorothy. She always made the best. Oh, my sister was the best cook in the she world. Well, I know. Best. Now, I had to say she probably learned it from Mom, because Mom yeah. was pretty good, too. And well, my aunts. Where else would she learn it from? She would, she would learn it from your mom. Oh, she's a pretty resourceful person. She could have learned a lot of stuff. But Mom was a really, really good cook, too. Okay. You just want to make sure that's all, all over your feet. I'd get some back over here, babe. Huh? Over here? Yeah, get it just, over the crust? Well, yeah. I'd, get, I'd okay. make sure everything's covered. Oh. I don't want to get the grim press around the top of it. And Dorothy didn't probably have her husband, Ernie, standing over her telling her. No, she probably didn't. <laughs> But that's All right, okay. Dorothy, you didn't get this. I need you to help me because I don't. See, look how much is on that spatula. Okay, spread it to the edges. Right? Spread it to the edges. All right. I mean, you don't have to be all that. Well, yeah, I do. With you here, I do. <laughs> oh, no, it's just a big gap there. Just so it's pretty much covered. What does that look like? It looks yummy. Yummy. <clears throat> now we do. Let's turn this back this way so we can see it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we do. Pineapple and um, bananas. Bananas, bananas and pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Either way, it doesn't matter. Bananas and pineapple <coughs> or pineapple and bananas? I don't think it matters one little bit. You guys be the judge. <laughs> now, the pineapple, now, you just have to kind of dollop it on there. But I'd put the whole can right. on there. If you want to, you put uh, the whole can on there, but you kind of want to spread it out. There we go. You want to make sure you got pineapple in every bite. Now, you know, if you got, I don't like pineapple, then don't put pineapple on it. Uh, we're going to put bananas. If you don't like bananas, don't put bananas on it. Cherries on top. If you don't like blah, 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 blah. Make it how you like it. You know, there's so many variants of this. And there's enough fruits out there. And yeah. I'm talking about the fruits that you eat. <laughs> that uh, you know you could make any combination of this you like you know make it your own uh, just because we're saying make it this certain way and put these certain toppings of course you may have toppings you like a lot better and I'm not going to start guessing but I can see a tropical in this with okay. pineapple well pineapple bananas pineapple and Coconut. Maybe. Kiwi. Yeah, coconut be good. Mix it, maybe mix it up in your toppings. Coconut. Kiwi sliced on it uh, instead of or with bananas might be really good. I don't know. Again, how many different things 
Can't get it all the way to the edge. Down in our YouTube comments, you know, let us know what uh, what you'd put on us that we haven't. You know, what what you see, what all we're getting in here. What would you do different? I mean, we'd like to see that on every video. Yes. You know, we're we're open to suggestions. Because what are recipes but someone's version of it? Yeah. Just do another version. Down here. Yeah, we've all got things. We're talking about moms and sisters and whatnot. We've all got things that our moms used to make that nobody has made it like that. Yeah. You know, like a, a cornbread dressing. I have not had cornbread dressing since the last time mom cooked it. It really tastes like what mom cooked. It's always, I don't know, it's just different. It's not the same. See, I can't even do it like his mom. Well, it's not just you, it's just yeah. Yeah. every see. every kid grew up eating their mom's cooking, so when you think of uh good food you think of your mom, you know. We all learned a lot from our moms. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the uh, bananas. I guess the only way to do this is just And we sliced up uh four bananas, by the way. And you do those any way you want. You can lower, uh, lower. You can that's layer them. Uh, There's so many. I think I just need start them. pitching them on there and, and, and ran, however you want to do it. But it's hard to make banana, oh. a banana pudding dessert without bananas. Banana. Yeah, it's a banana split. So what we're trying to do is just a traditional banana split. Well, I don't know if you're going to have room to put this other layer of topping on there or not. We may have to eat them all. Yeah, we may <laughs> have to just scoop out a bowl and eat it. And then come back and finish it. We'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And again, there's nothing wrong with tasting as you go either. Bananas sure. are so cute when you slice them. They look like little faces sometimes. The last thing you want to do is take a dish somewhere to a family get-together or to a church function or something and... Everybody takes a bite in it, goes, Ugh! and you go, oh no, I forgot the whatever it was that made it so good. Yeah, <laughs> all because you didn't taste it, Iva. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? I'm trying to tell you you didn't taste that pudding. I didn't taste the pudding. The filling? Yeah. I mean, you know what pineapple tastes like. You know what? Actually. Speaking of pineapple, and I was telling you how, yeah. how well we drained that pineapple this morning. It made enough pineapple juice that we both had a, a good share of pineapple juice this morning. Oh my goodness. That's good. Yeah, okay. Lick the spoon. So the filling is good. <laughs> I always lick the, the spoon. The pineapple is good because we had a bunch of juice this morning. Waste not, want not, right? Yeah, so we have tasted the ingredients except for the filling. She made a, eat a piece of ram cracker when she was I just, um I just licked the spoon, so. <laughs> All right, I, we're going to have to go through this. We're at almost 25 okay. minutes already. Okay, I'm trying, though. I'm, I'm trying to get a layer. Of okay, hi, we're back. We finished putting the bananas on, and now we're layering strawberries. I couldn't get fresh strawberries, so I had to get frozen, but that's okay. December in Missouri, it's hard to find straw <laughs> fresh strawberries. I guess there's some places that sell them, but didn't see it in St. Genevieve anyway. Sure. So, we're putting frozen strawberries. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, so we got the bananas put on there. We got the strawberries on there. They were in halves, so we kind of cut them up. So, they'll be uh, more of a bite size. Now, I'm going to put... Cool Whip on top of that. Make sure your Cool Whip is, is thawed out really well. Yeah, it won't spread if it's frozen. So I'm going to kind of splotch it out in different splotches and then spread it. Oh, should yeah. take pretty much a, a whole tub when you're I done. I would think so, at least. Well, it's
Do I want to cover it? Or I think so. All right. So you see what we're doing there? We're going to cover that. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay. I put the Cool Whip on top, and I'm putting Marchino cherries on top. And then um, chopped nuts. This one, you can do half of it. You can do it all over it. I'm taking it to a family thing, so I'm thinking somebody might not like nuts. Might not, not like nuts. Uh, may not be able to eat them. I kind of have a hard time with uh, with nuts. These are mixed nuts. So you can put walnuts. You can put pecans. You can put whatever you want. But you can put them on half of These them. are mixed. I just go like half. one bucket half. Whoops. There's one on the floor already. What do you think? I think that's what I think I'll do this and then I'll take that with me and then they can put some more on it if they want. There you go. That'll work. And now uh yummy chocolate syrup all over the top of it. Just drizzle it all over. I'm not doing it very pretty, am I? Mm -mm. There you go. Hey, you do the edges. <laughs> Have you ever noticed when she's doing this, everything kinda goes in the middle? Uh, <laughs> I think it'll probably go run off the edge. There you go. There we go. Yeah. I think that's good. What do you think? I think that's perfect. A lot of chocolate. <laughs> okay. So I'll take that with me too, just in case somebody wants more Put chocolate. Put as much or as little as you there want. There we go. And then what we're going to do is pop it in the refrigerator. Uh, we're going to head out here in about an hour. And it's a little drive. It takes us about an hour and a half to get there. So we'll put it in a cooler while we're carrying it. But there it is. Uh, we may, I'm not going to have time to edit this and everything today anyways. I mean this morning. So uh, we may. Uh, it may not make it there without getting a bite out of it. <laughs> it may first. not. But <laughs> what I was going to say is once we're there and uh, we may get some reactions from people if they don't mind yeah. being on camera. So we'll see you, see you at the start praise, day this afternoon. Praise the Lord and pass, pass the plate. The plate. Have Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye now.